my cinema matinee. I ain't got seven fifty to pay. That's a line from the movie, right? There. No, no, dude. I'm telling you, if you take if you take some booze in this movie and you drink every time Wolverine looks at the sky and goes, nah! you'll be drunk. We know the history so well. It'd be interesting to hear it from a layman's point of view. What did you think? Okay, for what I got from this now, Wolverine, when he comes into the first X-Men movie, he doesn't really know too much about his history. So this goes through and explains how old he is, for one thing. Right. How he got his adamantium skeleton. Why, for one thing, he is screaming, ah, through the whole movie, because we learned that he's actually lost a lot and has learned not to trust people. And this is where we learn about the Weapons X program, which in turn sets Wolverine on the path of coming to grips with who he is, getting revenge for the death of his woman after his brother kills her, and maybe picking up an extra tank top or two along the way. Uh, the only thing you left out is that, wow, this movie really did a poor job of covering all this. There's nothing special about it. It's like there's some scene with some power, some acrobatics, some fighting, and yet nothing that we haven't seen before done way better than this. I and, and there's no feeling for the characters. That's, I mean, that's the one thing about Wolverine was like he came with the shroud of mystery. And then once they lay it all out and show you, you're like, oh. So that's well, kind of lame. To be fair, even in the comic books, it was kind of lame anyway. I really had a problem with the effects. I mean, this is a scene where he's just looking at his blades, you know, and they're so fake. I know they're they so are. So, Carlisle, you have anything to say on this? The man is in pain. Okay, don't push him. It's just a piece of shit. Every turn is a terrible, terrible cliche. They don't do anything cool here. And every time they try to do something cool, what they do is they go, we're going to take a character from the comics and insert him randomly into yes. the film and try to make him work. Remember that guy who was a big badass in that team? Well, now he's the blob. Did you just call me blob? They've cast Will I Am, who <laughs> apparently is playing a robot because he's the stiffest, uh, most tired, cliched actor I've seen. Is that the dude from the Black Eyed Peas yeah. or something? Oh, you know, I looked at him and I said, you know something? That looks like a Black Eyed Pea. <laughs> and, so, and, and it was. I was like, it, he really wasn't that bad. I can't I'm, totally he blame him, though, bad. because I know Hugh Jackman is an actor capable of being good. And yet there are points in here I was like, what in the f are you doing to me a lot of what undercuts this is like it's all about killing it's about stabbing people with blades you got a character with claws you got him with his metal blades you got another character with blades all this stabbing hardly any blood yeah. like when when wolverine and saber are fighting each other how can you have any kind of emotion about it when all these guys do is heal it's like i'm gonna stab you you stab me but i'm just gonna heal and keep on fighting you yeah. at what point do they just get just tired stop. they just just get tired to stay it, man, go you know, I, yeah, I, I gotta go whiskey. eat. Yeah. Can, can we at least, like, take a break, go go oh, to Jack oh, in the oh, Box oh, like, or something? Hey, you know what? Instead of, like, a stabbing contest, let's play chess. You see, I guess none of this really bothered me because the whole thing is just like one big dumb cartoon or anime to me. It's got so much stupid stuff that I just took that as the tone of the film. But, hey, look. I know that this character means a lot to a bunch of fans and people out there. And if this, is, if this isn't the character or story that you guys have grown to love, then I completely understand where you're coming from. Even somebody like me who probably doesn't recognize all these characters, I recognize like at the end, they're like, oh, sh this is, we got to bring all the mutants in here. Let's just, yeah. that, and, you know, we just have to like show people a glimpse of this mutant, this mutant, and this mutant running by. Ron Reynolds has a short part in this movie as Deadpool, and that character is huge in the books, but I'm sure fans are going to hate him in this movie. On the other hand, I did like Hugh Jackman. I like that guy Danny Houston as General Stryker, and I did like Lee Schreiber as Sabretooth, who plays Wolverine's brother in this movie. No afraid of dying. How do you know? You've never tried it before. Now, I don't think they really gave bad performances per se, I just think they were given bad dialogue. I thought some parts of the movie were terrible, I thought some parts of the movie were fun, so I'm gonna give it a matinee. Not judging as a comic, just as an action movie, it's really dull and generic, and there's nothing to recommend about it. I can't think of a single thing I liked about this movie. You're and turning red right now. This is a some old bull Some old bullshit. This is just, this is just crap, dude. There's nothing. Here, look, I don't expect this movie to be good. Oh, look, this movie actually wasn't good. There's not a single thing I liked. Where's the point where Wolverine becomes scary to the audience? Because right, he never happens. should be scary to the he audience. He should be, and he never is. No, and you're right, because there were certain parts of the movie where they even had Wolverine doing a little physical comedy bits and his claws came out. I said, well, at this point, why don't y'all just go ahead and do a Wolverine claws blooper reel? <laughs>